Good morning, this is Thursday, June 6th, and today's devotion is Work Out What God Works In. This is Philippians 2.12, Work Out Your Own Salvation. After God has done the work of, of our salvation, there is something we must do. We must begin to work out what God has worked in, bringing every aspect of our lives into alignment with His will and look like His Son. Do you find it difficult to do the will of God? Perhaps we want to obey, but something in our flesh makes us powerless to do that which we know we should do. The barrier that keeps you from obeying God isn't your own will. Will is the essential element in God's creation of humankind. He willed us to be created. Its source in those who have been reborn is almighty, therefore. For it is God who works in you to will and do in order to fulfill his good purpose. That's Philippians 2. What stops you from following God is the stubbornness that arises from the sinful nature. <clears throat> Sin is something much less profound than will. Sin is a perverse disposition that entered into humanity after the fall. Will comes directly from God. The only way to get rid of sin and stubbornness is to blow them up with spiritual dynamite, the spiritual dynamite of obeying <clears throat> the Holy Spirit. When you begin to obey the Holy Spirit, you'll find that your will agrees with God because God is the source of that will. You do not bring an opposed will to God's will because God's will is your will. When the Lord, through the Spirit, presents himself to your conscience, the first thing your conscience does is ignite your will, urging you into action. If you remain steadfastly established on the complete and perfect redemption of the Lord, Calvary, this process becomes as natural as breathing, and stubbornness no longer gets in the way. Do I believe that Almighty God is the source of my will? God not only expects me to do His will, He is in me to help me do it. And the challenge I have for us today is to reflect back on moments in which you knew you heard the Holy Spirit speaking to you, and you obeyed. The first time it happened is when we gave our hearts to Jesus. That was the will of God, that none should perish. And within that will, we heard the, the wooing of the Holy Spirit, and we obeyed, and we found salvation. That's how you look at obeying the will of God in your life. Let's pray. Father, thank you for uh, your will. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord, that it is from you. The will is from you. Stubbornness is self, and self is a hungry beast. So for t today, Father, we ask that you would help us to fulfill the will of God in our lives, in all things. Let us remember and reflect on the moment we get saved. And your will was there. You, your will was that none should perish, meaning us. And we said yes to the Holy Spirit's urging and obeyed that will. Let us obey today, Father, and wherever you call us and send us to do. And we ask this in Christ's name. Amen. God bless and I'll see you tomorrow.